Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to my um, YouTube channel. Welcome to this recording for today. Um, it's Sunday evening and you all know what happens. We usually do a weekly analysis, um, just prepping for the week and just having an overview of a couple of pairs um, in terms of the, the possible direction that we'll take this week um, in terms of my, my personal bias. So guys, this is not financial advice, as you know. This is just my... Um, my analysis based on my own opinion of what I think the market would do. So obviously you take everything with a pinch of salt, but I do hope that this um, channel will give you some insight into your own analysis and prep you well for your, your own week. So guys, thank you once again, if this is your first time on my YouTube um, channel, if you've never ever been here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And please smash that notification bell, smash that like button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, so moving on guys. Um, we are looking at US 30 right now. So as we see from last week, US 30 um, really, well, you know, was in a bit of a consolidation. Um, you know, you can see it, 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 it was really, okay, I'm on the five minute chart. Um, but what we see is that it, it had been dropping, okay? US 30 has been bearish and then Last week, it got into this kind of like a re, you know, kind of a reaccumulation, redistribution phase. Um, we were kind of consolidating. And then um, what happened is after a bit of consolidation, we just plummeted on Friday. Okay, so you can see this is how the market ended, closed um, at the low of, you know, the week here. Um, which is anticipated because, you know, after this uh, push up, you know, we, we kind of saw this uh, was uh, possibly coming. So you can see I had actually been in a buy on here. I didn't anticipate the drop happening. Um, so soon I actually thought it would push up first before we dropped, you know, just try and uh, take out, um, you know, some highs here, uh, these equal highs here. So you may see that happening next week. Um, that's basically what I'm anticipating that we may now see US 30 now beginning to, to climb up because you see what happened here, um, this caused an imbalance in the market. So we may likely revisit these levels and then eventually take out the liquidity here. Um, basically, the uh, take do the move that I anticipated with this trade here, just uh, push up. So I'm going to see how the market opens um, in a couple of hours, but I let me look at the weekly though, um, just because I'm looking at a lower time frame. And sometimes you want to have a look at um, what's happening on the bigger time frames. So, like you can see, this major, major bearish um, candle close here um, literally just took out previous lows. Yeah. Um, and my anticipation is we're just going to continue pushing up because. US 30 is really bullish. It has been bullish for a while, as you can see. So um, I'm thinking we're still going to continue pushing on to the upside. But again, we'll wait and see how the market opens. Um, who knows, we may decide to drop a bit, um, but possibly take out this low here. Um, this is a 33716. Yeah, we may attempt to take up this low, which is what a couple of um, about 900 pips, which is quite a bit, but I'm not sure it'll happen right away. I'm still kind of bullish um, on this where we may push a bit lower, take out this low completely and then continue pushing up. Yeah, so that's US 30. If I look at gold, another pair that I really, really like to trade. Same thing happened to gold um, last week. Um, it was bullish and then it self-corrected and we kind of closed on, a, you know, on like a low here on the, on the, on the weekly and the daily as well. Um, we've been dropping though um, since um, beginning of August. Okay. US, yeah, I'm sorry. Gold has been scaling lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. Um, we did get to a level here where we now rejected. And, and what I'm seeing is there is a possibility that we may continue to push lower. We failed to push up, 
okay, above these previous highs here. So these are key levels here, okay, that we may revisit in the future. Right now, everything is still looking bearish. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we do try to take out this low um, and, you know, before we, we push on up. But um, I think we are just about ready to start pushing to the upside, yeah? After this correction here, I think we're going to pushing upside. So I'm technically um, looking at the market opening and attempting you know, to uh, continue its bullish move. But then again, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of news um, uh, last week um, that really caused a lot of this um, massive, you know, like if you look at the lower time frames, we are seeing uh, like, there was quite some impulsive corrective moves in the market. You see these drops here, you know, um, that cause, you know, we just see some really long bearish candlesticks. So we look like, I feel like we may continue to push. We may try to push lower, take out some equal lows here, okay? Um, and then eventually, you know, maybe begin to, to resume an uptrend. But it's very possible that that gold may actually drop um, significantly, okay, um, this week. Um, actually, when I look at it on the one hour, it, it's really, in as much as we are bullish long-term, we may see gold drop lower, okay? If that doesn't happen, that we, then we're really gonna, you know, break some highs here and really push up. But right now it's looking things are looking a bit bearish yeah that's on gold so i'm bullish on us 30 generally i'm a bit bearish on gold um and like i said on us 30 you may see some drop slightly but lot really mid-term long-term we are bullish but gold the way it's you know right now we have some equal lows here i feel like the market will retrace um and maybe try and take out these lows before we continue on any bullish run. So um, let me look at um, GBP USD. So, um, GBP USD formed uh, an equal high here, and then we saw a drop happening. So la last week, basically, the market opened bullish, but by the end of the week, we were like on a bearish run you know by the end of the week so i actually do think we may continue to see some push to the downside okay that's a possibility um let me just look at the weekly you see so really on the weekly we've really been bearish um We saw an attempt to push up, but then there was a bit of um, resistance pushing to the upside. But I'm looking like this possibility to just have a drawn liquidity up here, you know. Um, there's that potential. So actually, when I think about it uh, on a second glance, I feel like we may revisit this highs, the highs of 1.43553. Okay. Um, we just may do that. We just may do that. If not, um, G may just continue to drop all the way down to the previous low, which is 1.14117. Okay. So if we don't, um, successive, success, success, sorry, successfully take out the highs here, we will definitely be dropping. So I will look at um, how things look on market open. Um, we're, we're kind of in a, um, so, Sorry, my screen, my, let me just, <laughs> let me just uh, clear some of these things in the screen.
Okay, so um, GJ made an attempt, okay? Um, and you can see the way we closed, yeah? With kind of like, uh, almost like an indecision candle, like um, not sure whether we're pushing up or lower, but I, I'm still thinking that we have, we, we need to push up. Okay, I'm still bullish despite this rejection on the weekly. Um, let me look at the daily, clear rejection on the daily. So what now I'm seeing on the daily is, you know, we took out this equal highs here, okay? And um, took out this equal highs here, very interesting major rejection. So I'm, I'm seeing potential to just push lower, take out this low and then continue up. So we're in a kind of a sideways range now, okay? Um, that's how we're looking. So, but then we've been scaling lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. So we may continue with that move until we get to the 150, 149, 182, 148 levels. Um, because we've really been on a bullish run and then we began to consolidate at these levels. Um, and so, yeah, kind of looking bearish, kind of looking bearish on GJ initially. Um, let me look at Euro JPY. Looking similar, you know, very major rejection. So, you know, just looks like we're going to continue on downwards before we continue to the upside. So, you know, with this candlestick here, this is on the daily, we're seeing this upside down um, candle here. I believe this is like either the shooting star or morning star. I keep forgetting the names of these candlesticks. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, an, just showing an end to this trend downwards as well. You know, so we rallied up and then we began to push lower. And when we look at the lower time frame, I was thinking it was bearish. Yeah, so I think we're gonna drop, you know, like if you look at this, we actually did, um, we said dropping. So I think there's still room for Euro JPY to drop. Okay, um, at least to take out this low here before we see anything different. So I'm looking at the market just completing this, you know, like I looked at a 38.2 drop. Um, we just barely took out, we made about um, 19 pips, a couple of pips to go. Um, and then pretty much figure out, um, You know, we're putting in distribution. Now we're kind of like in a in a range on this um, zone here. Okay, so we may just have a sideways um, movement, but I think we're gonna try and take out this low. And once we do, then you know we may even try and take out this other low here before we we continue to push up. So I'm gonna wait on Euro JPY. We may. You know, with these consecutive candles to the downside, we may just continue to see the drop to the downside. I'll, and then, and then, yeah. So that is that. Um, then we look at um, hmm, GDP, JP, or oh, I think I'm looking at GDP, JPY. I want to look at your J, sorry, Euro AUD. Looking bullish on the one hour. Looking bullish on the daily. Looking bullish despite this rejection here on the weekly. So I'm bullish on Euro AUD. 
little cat. Similar, looking bullish. Okay, let me just clear up all of these here. So we had rejection, rejection, but I'm still bullish on Eurocad as well on the weekly. When I look at the daily, looking bullish. When I look at the four hour, looking very bullish. So, you know, we're scaling higher lows, higher lows. Okay. And this four hour candle is looking convincingly, you know, bullish. Um, so I'm bullish on Eurocad. So I'm bullish on Eurocad and Euro AUD. And Euro JPY, I am still thinking we're going to go. So I'm bearish on Euro JPY as well as GBP JPY and GBP USD. Um, let me look at Euro USD, guys. Yeah, I'm looking at same thing, guys. Um, I feel like we have, you know, we're in a way kind of, you know have gotten into this zone here. I feel like these lows here are quite interesting. We'll see how the market opens though, but I feel like we need to maybe, um, you know, there's, a, there's an interesting level here that could be retested. If we do retest this zone, then my take is that we shall kind of push lower like this and then continue to the upside. So. That's how I'm looking at your USD. So guys, I hope this quick um, um, look at the market from my eyes and my perspective is helpful in um, you know just your planning for the week in terms of your analysis. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. If I do see any interesting setups this week, I will share them. I'll do quick videos to just share um, trades during the week, trade setups during the week. And yeah, hopefully it'll be beneficial. So thank you guys and do have a lovely trading week ahead.